okay dear students uh, uh, in this video i am going to discuss uh, three very important laws which are used to find uh, the direction of number one the magnetic field produced by a current carrying conductor number two the force that will act on a moving charged particle in the magnetic field and number three the direction of the induced current that becomes the topic in hl physics Okay, so for all these three, there are different rules. Somebody is using Fleming's right hand, Fleming's left hand, and there are many other curl rule and etc. etc. But I use these three rules, uh, which are right hand palm rule, and they are very very effective. And uh, I will, I, I I want you people to use the same rules. So in this video, I'm going to discuss three rules now. So let us uh, first. This is the first rule. And in this, we are going to find the direction of magnetic field due to current. So what is happening here? You see, there are three axes that are uh, denoted by this palm like this. Okay. So when I am going to find the direction of magnetic field due to a current carrying wire. So what do I have there? I have a current carrying wire and I have a location of the point like this is the point P where I want to find the direction of the magnetic field. So what I do is that my thumb will be pointing towards the current. My fingers will be pointing towards the point P, the point where we want to find the magnetic field and the palm will be referring to the direction of the magnetic field. So in this particular example, I can say that my thumb will be pointing up and my fingers will be pointing towards the point P. So my palm is pointing into the board. So the magnetic field here is into the board. And if there was a point here Q, the magnetic field will be out of the board. You see, the thumb will be upward and my points, I would be uh, pointing towards Q with respect to wire and so my palm is giving me the direction towards me. It is outside of the computer. So I can say that the magnetic field here will be out of the board. And here it will be into the board. So this is a right hand palm rule type 1. I call it right hand palm rule type 1. Okay. So what next now? I am now, you can take the screenshot of this later. Okay. Now we are moving to second, which is right hand palm rule type 2. Now this is used to find the direction of force. Find the direction of force on the moving positive charge. On the moving positive charge. We can use it for the negative charge too, but there is a, a catch there. I would be telling you that. So, first of all, let us draw the three axes that are required here. These. Now, what happens is, on the thumb, what we have is, okay, how is the question? The question is that, let us say there is a magnetic field which is into the board and there is a positive charge here which is moving towards right. So, it has a velocity vector and a magnetic field vector is also given. We need to find the force on this positive charge. So, how do we do it? Our thumb it is pointing towards the velocity vector of positive charge and our palm our fingers will be pointing towards the magnetic field so your palm will be giving you the direction of the force simple so now again i am going to use the right hand rule there is no confusion right hand or left hand it is always right hand now in right hand what we do is this is the velocity vector okay so velocity vector is in this way for the positive and the magnetic field is into the board into the board that is towards the camera towards the laptop screen or into the board or into the notebook and this is the velocity vector so where is my palm pointing my palm is now pointing upwards it means that this will be experiencing a force that will be in the upward direction so this is how you apply the second rule which is how to find the direction of this now there is a catch if instead of this positive charge i say there is an electron here so what i do is i take this as the velocity vector of positive charge if electron is going towards right so i take the positive direction as the left and then i apply the same rules to find the direction of the force all the best bye 
Okay, so what we do in this case now, you see, uh, now this is the third type, so I call it right hand palm rule type 3. And so what is happening here is, we need to find the direction of induced current. Find the direction of induced current. So what we do here is, uh, what is given to us, uh, the direction of the magnetic field is given to us and the direction in which this conductor is moving is also given to us. This is velocity vector. So you need to find the in direction of the induced current, that is whether the current is moving in the upward direction or it is going in the downward direction. This is what we are supposed to find now. So what we, what we do here is, uh, we make three directions here. This is number one, number two and number three. So now you see, on the thumb, again, I am going to point the velocity vector here. And this is on in the fingers, I go for the magnetic field vector. And this will be the direction for the induced current, which is definitely going to be the direction of the force on a positive charge. So the direction in which the positive charge is moving is same as that of the direction of the electric current in that conductor. So this type 3 is typically same as the type 2 that I have been discussing, that I have discussed uh, just now. So these two uh, are actually the same. But in type 2, we call it that we want to find the direction of the force on a moving charged particle. And in this case, we call it the direction of the induced current. Every else thing is same. So now if we are taking this example now, I can say that magnetic field is into the board now. Okay, so I'm keeping my fingers like this and the velocity vector is towards right. So velocity vector is towards right, fingers pointing this and I am having an upward direction here again. So it means that the positive charges inside the wire will start moving in the upward direction. So it means that the current will also be in the upward direction. So this is how we find the direction of the induced current. My dear students, in this I am going to tell you like to find the direction of magnetic field, to find the direction of force or to find the direction of uh, uh, of induced current. There are so many laws that we can use like Fleming's right hand rule, left hand rule, a curl rule, screw rule and there are so many rules, okay. So what I am saying is instead of all those rules, we can use these three rules. These three rules are very clear very pellucid and if you uh, do a little practice with this kind of uh, rule uh, you will become master of this in no time so this rule is very important so you need to practice these three instead of all others but if you say that okay you are good with Fleming's right hand rule or Fleming's left hand rule okay fine if you want to use them okay fine no problem you can use but I would be using these three rules okay my personal experience tells me that these three rules are way more effective and you can reduce all your mistakes that you are going to make in this chapter so this is professor varun please do subscribe to my youtube channel all the best